Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at iOS 17 and developer beta 8. It is kind of crazy to think that iOS 17 testing has basically come to an end at this point. So this is beta 8. Of course, I want to come back and share with you guys my thoughts on the software so far. How's the battery, the performance, is there any bugs, bug fixes, and everything else that I like to talk about in these follow-up videos. But Apple could very well soon be releasing iOS 17 RC, which is the release candidate. If history is any indication, on September the 12th, which will be the iPhone 15 event. Right after that event, we usually get the RC for the next major update. This year, of course, should be iOS 17 RC. Now, Apple could do two things here, release two RCs, or release another beta, which typically they don't do, and then release the RC during or after the event. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is some of the minor changes I've noticed in beta eight, and I wanna start off in the health application. If you go to log in your emotions and mood section here, if we click next here, the actual shape and animations have changed slightly from beta seven to beta eight. Everything else remains the same, but as you can see here, as you move this scrubber, the actual animations change right there in the center again the colors in the ui remains the same but the shapes have been tweaked and you can see there you start off with a circle and then it goes into a star sort of flower shapes right there as you can see right there so yeah something minor but something that i've noticed have been changed within the latest beta 8 now I quickly want to jump over into some of the bugs and the bug fixes now in my personal experience right now i'm encountering two issues number one by the way if you want this wallpaper links will be in the description when i go to add any photo from the shuffle option here it is always loading and never loads my pictures. I'm not sure why that is. And if I go to this carousel at top here, the live photos option has disappeared for whatever reason in beta 8 for me. Now, aside from that, I can't really say that I've encountered too many issues or too many bugs with the software. Aside from name drop, on the Apple Watch, and this is one of the reasons I believe Apple could release maybe another beta, which is not typical for Apple, but we'll talk about that here in just a few seconds. Name drop, one of the big features coming to Apple Watch and iOS, is not enabled on watchOS just yet. You can't really name drop anything from an iPhone to an Apple Watch, which is a big feature coming to watchOS, and it is not here just yet. It is within the code of watchOS, so Apple may enable this within the next RC, where we may see another beta for testing, and then the official release of the feature within the RC. Now keep in mind the RC is basically the official release candidate goes out a week prior to the official release to the public. And we'll talk about release dates and everything like that here in just a few seconds. I also want to talk about some of the bug fixes because Apple has addressed a few things here and I want to start off with the Wi-Fi issue that I was reporting where the Wi-Fi would randomly disconnect. I haven't encountered that issue in beta 8 so that's good news of course. And I also want to talk about the key keyboard because the keyboard has become an issue for many iOS users in the iOS 17 beta testing cycle. In beta 8, I have to say that the keyboard is working as intended. It is not disappearing and even the input text, which in some cases would disappear as well. You start typing, you can't really see what you were typing. That has been addressed here as well. I haven't encountered that bug or that issue at all. In terms of applications, launching the software, the animations, everything is running buttery smooth. Everything is really good good and ready to go in my opinion in terms of performance and everything like that i know you guys like to ask about the performance i did run a benchmark here we see beta 7 versus beta 8 a slight drop in performance here in single core score and multi-core score but you won't really notice too much of a difference in terms of performance although these benchmarks do say that the performance has dropped a little i wouldn't really focus too much on benchmarks the performance is really really good right now and in terms of battery life which is something that you guys always ask yeah the battery life is getting me through my entire day i've seen major improvements beta over beta since beta 5 on up so at this point i get through my entire day so this software basically feels ready to go except for the feature the name drop feature for watch os and ios which isn't working just yet and some of the issues within the lock screen which i think are personal to my device itself now there's also one thing i would like to mention here for whatever reason my battery health has dropped once again every single a week is like a one percent drops i'm not sure why that is maybe in the future we'll find out if there was any issues with the actual battery inside of iphone 14 because a lot of users do report this issue now let's talk about the release date again this is the week before ios 17 rc goes out if history is any indication apple usually releases the rc for the next major update 
after the iPhone event. The iPhone event is on September the 12th, so it looks like next week on September the 12th, we should get the RC. Now, if Apple changes things around a little bit and release another beta this week, which is not common at all, then we see beta 9 and we'll see beta 9 for watchOS, enabling name drop and fixing the issue for testing about a week. Then we get the RC on the 12th after the iPhone 15 event as per usual. And then we'll see the official release of iOS 17 on September the 18th, or Apple can easily release two RCs on the week of the 12th. So release RC1 after the iPhone 15 event, RC2 maybe Thursday or Friday, and then the official release on the 18th so let's just wait and see this week will tell us everything we need to know if by time thursday comes around we don't see a beta 9 apple will most likely release rc1 and 2 the following week of the iphone event and then we get the official release most likely on a monday september the 18th and there you guys have it this is everything i wanted to share with you guys i was 17 this is it we're done this is the final beta basically we are ready to go thank you for watching guys i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys on the next one Peace.